Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how the small intestine is adapted for absorbing the products of digestion. Over the last few videos we've been looking at the digestive system. We've seen that during digestion large food molecules are broken down into smaller molecules by enzymes. So for example starch is digested into simple sugars by the enzyme amylase. The products of digestion are then absorbed into the bloodstream in the small intestine. So in this video, we're looking at how the small intestine is adapted for absorbing the products of digestion. Firstly, the small intestine is very long. For example, the human small intestine has a length of around 5 meters. This means that it provides a very large surface area for the absorption of molecules produced by digestion. The interior of the small intestine is covered with millions of villi, like these. Villi massively increase the surface area for the absorption of molecules. This shows a close-up of villi. On the surface of villi we find microvilli, and we can see these here. Microvilli increase the surface area even further. Now villi have a very good blood supply, so the bloodstream rapidly removes the products of digestion and this increases the concentration gradient. Finally, the villi have a thin membrane, and this ensures that there's a short diffusion path. All of these features mean that there's a rapid rate of diffusion of the products of digestion into the bloodstream. Now, any molecules which cannot be absorbed by diffusion are absorbed by active transport, and we looked at that in an earlier video. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the adaptations of the small intestine in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how the small intestine is adapted for absorbing the products of digestion. 